Look at you, Tyson Anytizers and Crispy Strips. Hey, welcome there, friends, and everybody from the interwebs. It is me, Eric, and I'm doing a special edition of the Edub Art Show tonight, uh, where I will be attempting to stream two, not one, but two, two platforms. We're streaming live on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying a service called uh, Restream. I believe that's right, Restream.io. And uh, they claim to be able to restream to, uh, oh gosh, uh, to, to 30 plus services. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And uh, so I'm going to be do streaming over to, to Twitch and YouTube just to try it out, see how well it works, what kind of quality we get. So this is just kind of a, a special episode. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot in mind. Oh, I got my art pad here. Oh, my God. It's blue. <laughs> Okay, so, oh my gosh, I got my cords tangled. Oy, oy, oy. Maybe I should have been better prepared. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so here we are. We are streaming. I got Photoshop up already. Not really sure what I'm going to do tonight. Maybe just do some character drawing. May, uh, may work on the uh, character design challenge a bit. Uh, Figure we'll stream for about an hour or so, see what what happens. Um, yeah, so this, for those of you that are new, this is the Edub Art Show. Um, I've got nine episodes up on YouTube right now, so head on over there, check that out. Uh, username is the Fuji Koma, D H E F U J I K O M A. So if you're on Twitch, um, you might want to check that out later. I'll try to add links and all that stuff um, as I keep going here. Uh, so this is a new thing I'm doing. Um, I give you a little background as we get rolling here. So let's switch over to the art show. Art show, there it is. All right, so you can see we got this nice blank canvas. I hate blank canvases. I really hate blank canvases. But, you know, one of the things is, uh, you know, I was going to bring in some, some assets and, and uh, you know, kind of figure out where I'm going from there. Um, but, you know, one of the things I wanted to do was something cyberpunky. So, you know, I did, did a quick search on cyberpunk on, uh, you know, on Google Images, you know, get, get some ideas for city layouts, characters, that kind of thing. Um, and I really want to kind of go in towards the stream end. So, there's my assets. There, you know, rather than just place to get onto the into uh, Photoshop here. I, I've got it on another screen, uh, 
the page there on Chrome. Um, so I don't necessarily have a blank idea, right? So I've got I've got some ideas in mind. Okay, so without any more discussion, so now well, let's give you a quick background on me. Let's see, I changed this so I can't see. Let's see, no, I don't want that one. Uh, let's see. I don't want that one. Oh, me that's watching. Um, there we go. Okay. So, all right then. I do have the chat windows open for you too. And, um, and uh, uh, Twitch. So, I'll just kind of get. Say a little hello there to, to both of those so you know that I am monitoring chat if anybody happens to drop in. So far we've got one viewer which is probably myself since I monitor my own broadcast. I've got a whole, whole screen over here dedicated to that. Uh, let's see what are we doing here. Well let's start drawing right you know that's what you're here for. that's what we're here for. We're here to draw so what I'm going to do is we're going to pick a nice kind of medium gray uh, we're just gonna pop that in there to start working from all right that looks pretty good now let's see if my pen is working properly bring up a brush and that is not the brush i want uh, let's see Yeah, okay, that's what I want. Yay! The brush is working properly. Yeah, that's always a good thing. All right, so, you know, I thought maybe we might tackle a little bit of the character design challenge for this month, which is a dragon and its rider. And like I said, I kind of think it's kind of cyberpunky. Um, you, know, you know, what can I do to make it cyberpunk, right? You know, obviously it's going to be mecha mecha dragon of some kind i don't want it to have full wings i'm thinking kind of i'm already kind of kind of envisioning this thing here so let's um let's see how do i want to i kind of want to maybe have it curving back here so put the head kind of here All right and have it curving back its neck of body kind of right, starting here uh, let's see wings are going to come off of here uh, I think I'm thinking we'll have the rider standing beside it um, do we do front arms or just wings that's another question if we do just wings right I kind of had the idea that it'd be kind of a, like a jet engine, like 747 jet engine on this thing, right? This thing's been cobbled together from, from parts, right? You know, so. so it's kind of like a big old jet engine to help it fly. Let's see. Actually, that'd be kind of interesting, the tail coming off. Maybe it's it's even got like some sort of rotor. On, on the tail, right? Yeah. That could be kind of interesting. And just kind of off of the legs there. There you go. See, we're sketching already. Kind of the foot there, maybe. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll skip the uh, skip arms on this thing. I don't want to do arms. Yeah, so I do want this kind of a spiny back that goes all the way down. And we got the head, which will be rotating in 3D, coming toward this, kind of. There we go. 
Where's, where's the head? I don't want to have a nice big broad head. Right. And you know what would be nice is rather than like a saddle, I think we'd give it like a um, like a cockpit on it, right? Yeah. Give it a cockpit of, up here, right, right past the wings. Have a ladder coming down. Right. And uh, I'm kind of visioning this like out on a balcony of some kind, right? You know, coming out. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're, we're going to have a little balcony coming off. Off here, right? And that way, what we could do is we could kind of throw in a cityscape in the background, right? And we kind of blend some stuff in. Right, and you got stuff in the background. Something like that, right? I'll turn that off for now. And then my writer, I had an idea for a writer, and so obviously we're working a little small there. I think what I want to do is zoom in. So I'm going to get control T. I'm going to zoom this guy in a bit more. Large him up a bit. That looks good. Okay, that gives us gives us a little more portions here. Um, so let's do the rider on a separate layer. I think what we'll do is we'll have him striding away from the dragon here, right? Or maybe yeah, I think striding away. So he's he's going to be standing right about here. And Oops. Let's merge that down. Merge down the starting new layer there. Okay, so now, now I'll start our, our rider. So I had the idea of a mechanical rider, right? Or maybe an avatar type rider where, you know, you've got a person who's not, you know, who's controlling a robot maybe. Um, and... The robot is the one that gets on the on on the on the dragon, rides the dragon. So I've already kind of worked on him some uh, offline, so I kind of already know what I want for this guy. Yeah. Right. Let's see, I had him holding a, a, a weapon in one hand before, so maybe we'll uh, keep that up going here. So I think we'll just kind of do that. Go like that. Of course, now it looks like he's holding it with his other hand, so I don't know. I'll work on that later. All right. So let's go back to this layer again. And uh, so the question is do we really want anything coming off? Off of here, so we've got kind of a, a wing shape. I'm thinking it should be kind of kind of parts here, so you'll see through it there. 
And you have a, another like structure coming back and connecting there. Like that. And have this thing attach right there, kind of behind. Get some depth there. And this is kind of tilted the wrong way, isn't it? So I'm going to bring this back around a little bit. Mm, looks like we're streaming to both Twitch and YouTube right now. Yay, it's working! I don't know for sure once we end the broadcast. Right? I don't know for sure once we end the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could ha have... A little bit of weight coming out of that. That'll be something interesting. Um, so this is not going to be as big coming off of there. We're not going to see as much of that. Let's see. I do want to continue that motif with the spikes. Here we'll have spikes coming off. Well, you know, one thing I thought of, you know, in Cyberpunk, you know, I should have like some monitors or something on it. I'm not sure about that. I don't want to just make it, like, you know, keep going with the mechanical look. You know, give it sort of exposed ribbing. And then, like, maybe an interior glow, blue glow on it. So, so I want this chest piece to be um, kind of solid, I think. Maybe we'll have something coming off of it, too. I don't know. I'm liking that. Kind of open off there. And this. So, very, you know, once, once we get into this and actually start defining shapes and forms a little better, next iteration, I think, I think this will really start popping out. And we'll start adding some, some texture detail to it, color detail. Let's see. It's, uh, one thing I th one of the things I thought of too is you know if it, this is a cyberpunk dragon, you know maybe we want it to have not really have eyes, you know more of a camera deal. Um, you know maybe kind of a you know a series of cameras and a dome type thing uh, let's see what I like in that But I am liking the overall shape of this. Let's see. Define the sh shape a little better here. There we go. There we go. That's that's a four right there. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Yeah. We're coming here. Let's come along. Maybe its mouth should be open. I like the idea of its mouth being open and having a glow coming. From outside the from the mouth, and 
at the glow. Yeah, so, so this thing will be reflecting. You know, like this typical to cyberpunk style, you know, maybe it'll be kind of rainy or something, right? You know. Uh, so this is going to be pointed towards us. And it's kind of Actually, that's right. So this cowling on the engine should be a little bit bigger. Engine itself. Some large detail here and here. I guess this will be the cockpit. Now maybe it should be that the the cockpit is open, right? Because he's not out of it. Um. All right, he's not. He's not out. He's he's not in it. <laughs> oh, I've been homesick the last couple of days from work. Here, might as well do do a bit of drawing. So, yeah, we could have the cockpit open, and exposed. Very interesting. We still kind of got to come do the city in the background with lots of colors and neon boards and things like that. All right. Same thing here, maybe with the that we did up here with the with the wings, All right? I like this. Yeah. Hmm. This is going to take a little bit of work here to figure out the feet. In feet. Yeah, that's not bad. Just got to realize we got. Got three dimensions here to work with. Yeah. What what shapes are we going to use? You know, I kind of like the idea of using kind of a rounded shape on top. We'll use kind of an elongated oval because it's going to touch here and here. Two points. Come back maybe with another one, and then let's see. We we'll have to be in line, so. So I think anybody watching Altered Carbon? Altered Car Altered Carbon. It's been my thing while I'm sick. I finished it today. That was one heck of a show. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was, it was good. Yeah, you know, it was. I think there was some stuff in it that was pretty much pretty much expected. You know, it's like, oh wow, what a twist, and then it's like, eh. It's an okay twist. Let's be honest. Oh, I don't like the head as much as I want to. I think I don't think I want to do do the full full camera view here type thing. We'll just do something like that. Come down. I want to keep keep this thing going here, right? Down with the spikes and such. You know, keep, keep that spike motif going. Motif. 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 We should have a couple of antennas coming off the back, right? Some antennas. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? Hmm. I like that so far. Let's see, I'm really liking this so far. So far, so good. Okay, 
Excellent. Excellent. All right. So I think I, as long as this works out, we will. I will continue to stream. To both Twitch and uh, YouTube at the same time. Now, anyways, let's stop with that now. Um, so let's see him. Let's name that later. Dragon Sketch. And I'll call that Writer Sketch. Sketchy. Sketch. All right. So let's tackle the Writer next. I kind of did some basic work on him. Let's see if we can. Go ahead and start bringing him out. Let's see, we'll bring his opacity down to that 25. 25%? That looks good. Okay. Bring him up here. You know, one of the things is, I mean, I really like how, how rough it looks right now. I don't know how much I want to actually define things or if I should leave it rough. Um, I, think, I think I want to refine it more. Definitely. All right, so let's go here to our writer sketch. All right. So what we can do is we can zoom in on our writer. Oops. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, yeah. Zoomed in. There we go. How does that look for a writer? You see what we did just by uh, just the few brush strokes, brush strokes we got uh, kind of a definition in. So the angle that we've got is kind of, we're looking down on him a little bit. So we're going to see the top, top of his head. I just had this idea for just kind of a very plain, plain looking robot. Um, yeah, not, nothing too fancy. Basically the whole front of the face is, is going to be you know, a solid, solid piece. Um, you know, and then we're going to have neck work going on here. Let's see. And I had a, an idea for like just a basic chest type thing. Here, to kind of bring him in. Almost like a skeleton, right? Just, just a very, very skinny robot. Not a lot of detail to him. All right, we can let's see. I don't know what direction we got light coming from yet. That's something I need to figure out soon. I kind of had the idea that yeah, you know, he might have some sort of uh, you know, maybe insignia on him here what are we looking at Let's see spine continuing down right and that would continue into kind of a Hip like unit here. I want to have kind of the spikes coming out from the, the spine here. Yeah, 
like that. That looks really good. I like that. That looks really, really good. Yeah, if I could just get people to visit me on my channel while I draw and such, that would be awesome. So, yeah, maybe that's smart. I don't know how to get followers and all that yet. I think you can just kind of keep posting on Instagram and such. Uh, it's just very, very basic robot here. Um, maybe what I want to do is I really didn't like that. I really want this kind of going up and down. Um, and what I want to do is maybe bring his hand out to there. We can something like that going on. We've got like a little ball socket type thing going into the hip area there. There we go, I like this guy. I like this guy. He's coming out pretty good. I didn't know it's like click. Nope, that didn't work. I don't want it to stay I want a straight line, I just don't want it to be oh well, do that for now. I want to decide what kind of hands I want to give him. Um, semi-human. Uh, maybe not fully human hands. I really like this guy. He's really coming out good. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. The idea I had was it was just kind of flare at the bottom, and then um, you would have little claw like things uh, coming out the bottom, similar to the dragon spikes. Yeah, because I want to want to show some relation with the motif. So maybe maybe we add add kind of similar spikes onto there to, to make sure we have that tie in with the dragon, right? We wanted to have a tie in with that dragon. Kinda already got that with the spikes going on there. There we go. And that I mean just very kind of a very plain very plain robot. Very simple. Not, not a lot going on. Yeah, just yeah. maybe you should have. Yeah, I struggled with whether or not you should have a tennis coming off his head or not. Uh, yeah, a little, one little antenna doesn't. I think that kind of works. Yeah, kind of like that. And this idea was that it was really kind of a weird, weird rifle type thing. And it would, uh, Uh, 
have have these weird this weird kind of grip there. Um, he's a robot. He doesn't necessarily need to have to hold it like a human, right? Um, yeah. So just kind of something going on here with the kind of a rifle esque looking thing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, and as we go into the next iteration of the robot, you know, we'll add add even more detail. Not that he needs a lot more detail, but Mm -hmm. It looks compared to the dragon now. Yeah, see, he, that looks like he fits now. I like that. That looks like he fits. I like that. Oh, I like that. Alrighty, well. So we're at 36 minutes. 10.45, we keep going a little bit, um, that one off, yeah, let's do a little bit of refinement on the dragon, shall we, um, first off, let's refine, writer, okay, so Close refine. Refined. Dragon. I just got a text message here. I see what this at. Let's see. It's my mom. Just your phone up. So I'm live drawing on YouTube right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to do a refined dragon here now. All right, so with the dragon sketch, we'll go back down that layer. We will reduce you down to about 23%. And sounds good. Back up to refined dragon. And uh, let's work on his head to start with. Uh, let's see. So this was the part I really kind of was struggling with the most was the the head on the dragon. And I was kind of trying to sketch it out earlier with uh just on pencil and paper, trying to get ideas down. Let's see. So Yeah, it's like are these three D yeah. How much should I see of this side over here? All right. That's when I said, uh, oh gosh, let's see, so I got the eye. That's, yeah, that looks good. You know what, that might be the problem here. We've got is the neck on the dragon. I should go right into the back of the skull here. That's kind of a problem I have. The head's in the wrong spot. So before I go any further, let me do something here. This is the advantage of El Photoshop. -o. I can just kind of trace along his head. The lasso tool. And let's get that sucker in. Let's go back. I like touch the screen. Now we can move this over. 
Oh yeah, it's actually in line. See, so so the spines here should be in line with the head, right? The top of the head. So that's what we're going to do right there. Okay, so now we can go back up into our refined dragon sketch and play around with that a little bit. Oh, here we are. Alright, let's scoot this back over. Onto where we look. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we this on the I've got it going from there, so I should actually. I think what we want to do is go like that. Oh, that's too big. Yeah, it's, it's not quite. I didn't quite get the shapes right there. Let's see, so that line goes into that. Should give us an angle like that. That. There we go. There we go. I just realized he looks has a little bit of a, 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 a Voltron look to him. Does me. I think actually. Oh, look at it. I look okay. Yeah, I think that looks okay. All right, let's uh, turn this that turn this all the way. So, I still don't like this. This looks too too wide for it. I feel like I need to bring that back a little bit. There we go. A little better. A little better. There we go. I like that. There we go. There we go. That yeah, looks good. I just want to get that kind of basic dragon head look. Yeah, that down. There we go. That looks really, really good. Getting that mechanical look. Um, add some spikes out here this way, and right there. No. Ah, yeah. There we go, I like that. Let's see. 
Yes, even I make mistakes. Oh well, all right. So this has been a kind of a fun little uh, little night here. Might do this a little more often, maybe even just to just to kind of keep going. Sorry, I'm not really into my talking today. I like I said, I I was homesick today, so. Not feeling super great at the moment. It's probably why I'm not as talkative as I am on some of my other videos. And this was kind of an unscripted, unplanned episode. Um, as you know, if, if you watch my YouTube right now, I've been working on Stephen Hawking in Illustrator. Uh, so I don't always do Photoshop. That's something I'm to look out for. Um, yeah, I'm doing a, a Stephen Hawking tribute in Illustrators based on a sketch I did, and uh, I think it's pretty clever and, and fun. Um, yeah, I'll let, I'll let my audience be the judge of that. <laughs> but I've shown it. You know, the people that have seen it are just like, "Wow, that's a great idea!" And they love love the image, and they're like, "Man, you need to do that." Like more than just a sketch so it's like oh all right i'll do it more than just a sketch and so that's why i did start doing it more than just a sketch yeah we still haven't gained any viewers on twitch or anything that's okay i'm doing this for myself not for the views i figure eventually at some point i will start getting more and more viewers as i produce more and more cool art yeah dragons are cool so maybe if i uh Advertised it as drawing a dragon, you know, and change up my preview image and such a little bit better. Um, that would help. But you know, little, little steps at a time. I'm still learning, still learning the platforms. I used to do games on Twitch, and that was just um, troublesome because I get laggy and all sorts of crap. And it just it was just wasn't good. And, I wasn't doing very popular games or anything. Did it for fun, but um, yeah. So now I want to change gears and just broadcast my art. Uh, sort of, sort of half inspired by my son right now too. He's uh, he's been doing uh, 3D animation videos using Source Filmmaker, and he's been animating uh, like music videos and such. Based on semi-popular games like uh, Undertale and Bendy and the Ink Machine and those kind of things, and uh, I dare say he's got been getting pretty good at it for his, his age. He's only thirteen now. He just turned thirteen, so most of what you see on his channel he did while he was twelve. In some cases, eleven. So don't don't be knocking a, knocking him for. Uh, Ryan, he's really going gangbusters with his animation. Uh, I really like what he's doing. But he asked me, like, we, you know, if, if I wasn't your son, would you like my animations? And I said, well, you know, the problem is, it's not really something that I'm into. You know, it's not something I would go seek, go go looking for. You know, if I was if I was looking on YouTube, you know, it's like I, I don't have a lot of time for stuff. I like seeing uh, art art process videos and things like that. Um, you know, I've been watching the K and KL show with Keenan Lafferty, uh, Marco Bucci, Bucci or stuff like that. Um, you know, and just don't have the time for. Or videos like I used to. And yeah, I'm working full time and uh, trying to learn, improve my digital drawing. This is something I I should have been picking up earlier, and I tried. And like I said, I got a bamboo tablet from I don't know how many years ago now, ten years ago, something like that. Um, haven't upgraded since then. I'm sure if I had upgraded to something a little more uh, modern, 
I would see the difference right away. I'd love to get a Cintiq where I could draw it right on. Cintiq? Is it the Cintiq that you could draw right on the screen? Something like that. Anyways, I'd love to be able to draw right on the screen. That would be awesome. But for now, I'm using my little bamboo fun and having fun, right? That's what this is all about. Just to have fun. I'm having fun drawing. Um, yeah. Uh, they're on Twitch, probably on the bottom of the creative page. Um, I haven't learned I, something new that I saw since I last started streaming on Twitch was the the communities thing. I'm not familiar with that. I imagine uh, if I were to join a couple of these communities that do Photoshop art, uh, that might have a benefit to to me. Maybe I. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where yeah, you know, I'm still learning how to navigate around the, the, these different properties and such. I'm going to start adding a little bit of detail here on the, on the wings. When I get done, because I'll have like some, I'm going to have parts that are glowing such and this will be really cool I hope I hope I think it will be um, I like the idea of kind of having having it open Yeah, so, looks like we still have nobody in the stream, that's okay, that's okay, you all can come when you want to, you know, I figure it'll take, take a few days before I get discovered, a few broadcasts, I'm not going to get discouraged, I need to get on more platforms, I need to get on Tumblr more, um, I see, oh, I had four drawn there, and there's only three. Let's see. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? I think I like it. I think I, I don't care. I like it. I'm liking this dragon. He's uh, he a lot of character in him. Let's see. So we got this kind of structure going on here. We should have a little bit of something going on over there and here I think in like kind of like a radiator almost, you know, for all the heat it's generating. Yeah, that is not in the right spot. So let's eliminate that one. I'm right. You see, because this should line up with that line there. It should be right there. And then uh, these two are a little off again. There we 
go. Yeah, the question is, yeah, how do I do some of this stuff? Seat here. Here we've got some controls here. We can have lights in the cockpit. Yeah, got a window. Is there gonna be light coming out of it? These little fins on here, maybe. Like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Glass, like glass and glowing lights there. Might see on an airplane, right? Like a glowing, glowing light from an air, like an airplane of some kind. Okay. And then we have some panels come up here. Yeah, I'm liking that so far. Let's see. I think it like a circuit pattern maybe down here. Right? This is kind of one of the areas I want to glow. I have it blue. I think I'm going to give it like an electric blue glow on this dragon. Uh, it'll be mostly black and gray with some uh, glowing blue bits on him. Hmm. Yeah, let's group it together. Like that. Yeah, well, maybe maybe there should be more movement in this guy. It's just sort of standing there. And I got a lot of fairly good decent amount of movement in the dragon. Um, but not so much in this guy. He's kind of static. Yeah, it's okay for now. Okay, we are almost to an hour. I think it's about time to call it quick. So save. I think I have this saved yet. If I save as. Um. Saving as the cyberpunk. Alright, I have to turn off maximize capability because I'm the one working on this. Alright. Okay. Well, I think we got a good start on this. Um yeah, we've got uh got a decent start on our dragon here. Got a, got a little bit of motif going with the spikes. Or fins, I guess you'd call it. I don't, you know, they're not really spikes, they're more like fins. Um, got the engines that we'll work on next time. We'll try to get him finished, sketched out. Um, might decide to give him some more, uh, you know, that the rider some more dynamic, you know, like maybe he's running or walking. You know, right now he just looks like he's standing there. You know, he should be, he should be posed and walking, you know. Um, but yeah, so I think. I think this was successful. I'll have to go back and check the broadcasts. And if this was successful, we will I will continue to do this later.
Um, so this was an Eat Up Art Show special, I guess you'd call it. Um, an unscripted, untimed, un, un whatever. You know, I didn't plan it. It just sort of happened. <laughs> yeah, so I talked about doing that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. So let's go back over to this. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you're on YouTube, I, I do want to kind of try to send everybody to my YouTube channel. It is the Fujikoma, T H E F U J I K O M A. Um, you can look me up on Instagram under the same name, T H E F U J I K O M A. Um, and uh, yeah, I've also got a Facebook page, um, which I'm trying to get started and going a little better, where I'm trying to post more of my art there, uh, both present and past. So, yeah, I'm posting stuff up from even junior high. <laughs> Some paintings I did there. Um, yeah. Um, so this is just sort of my experiment. Uh, you know, I'm not doing this for any reason other than uh, just to have fun and kind of a way to document my progress and process that I'm doing these things in. Um, you know, I definitely want to continue to improve. That's why I watch videos from from Keenan and Marco and uh, uh, Ahmed Adori and starting to follow some other artists that I've found through uh, a new Facebook group uh, hosted by Loish. If you're not familiar with her artwork, then what's wrong with you? <laughs> <coughs> so anyways, um, and with that, I think let's close it out. Uh, if you're on YouTube or, or Twitch, hit that subscribe button if you found this after I broadcast, uh, if you enjoyed it. Um, one of the things I will be doing and I have started to do is I will be doing process videos of all this. So even though my version of uh, Photoshop doesn't have the full history process and be able to do the process videos, what I do is I take these videos, I download them later, and I compress them and shorten them up, chop out bits where like nothing's happening or I'm talking and yakking, so it becomes just the artwork basically. And I just spread it over. I cut it down and then I shorten it up and turn it into a, a time-lapse process video and so I've done that I'm working on that with uh, my first two video first two completed projects <coughs> I will undoubtedly do that with this project and the uh, and the Stephen Hawking project so right now I've got two art projects going on right now um, yeah so what fun so if you didn't know uh, my sc schedule times are Wednesday and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Uh, any other time I broadcast will also likely be kind of in the 10 p.m. 10 to 11 p.m. period. Um, yeah, I kind of wait till all the, my kids are in bed and got some nice quiet time so we don't have any uh, yelling or screaming or kids running around in the background type of thing bugging me like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dad? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, so with that, um, have a good night. I'm going to finish this out here.